Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to our live sale this Thursday, April 27, 2023. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Sorry, I'm late. We were having a little snafu with um, the air fryer, or not the air fryer, the deep fryer that we got. Um, I didn't notice that there was like a button that you had to like switch on to turn on. I thought like you just turn the knob and then once you heard it click, like it was on, not the case, there's a switch. Our old one, like we used to have another one, a deep fryer that like, it just turned on automatically once you turned the knob to like turn on the heat to like the setting. And that's how I thought this one was, but it's not. But how is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Uh, sorry also if I sound crazy. I'm so congested. My allergies have been nuts. I was outside all afternoon. Our roses are being attacked by, what are they called? Aphids? And it is crazy. So, Tara... Oh, I hope your daughter is okay, Tara. Hi, Don. How are you? Oh, also, this morning, we went to uh, Zach's school, and he had, like, <laughs> he, it was called a wax, he, like, they had, like, a wax museum, and I guess it's, like, famous people throughout our history, and each kid, like, each child was able to choose someone. And then if you went to their little board and stand, like, they were dressed up as the character. And then you ha there's, like, a little button that you press. And then they'll give you, like, their little spiel about the person. And Zachary was George Washington. And I have to show you guys his costume. Like, his outfit was literally the cutest. But hi, Kathleen, Lady Badger. There's Rachel, Pris Creator, Sandra. Hi, guys. Hi, Tanya. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Sandra, no way! Yay! Okay, um, let me know how much I owe you. And, like, including shipping and, like, everything. Like, just let me know. And then I'll PayPal you, okay? S like, send me an email. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Oh, here's that photo. Of Zachary Binks and and me. This is from this morning. Look how cute he is. And he's wearing my sister's boots. Look at those boots. His costume is legit. And then we were like trying to figure out how to get his hair white. And we just used a ton of dry shampoo. And sprayed it into his hair. And yeah. So there he is. Mr. Um, George Washington, and that co he actually asked for that costume as part of his birthday present. He's so cute. He was like really, really committed to his character, and he wanted like a really like he wanted a cool costume. And apparently, he's gonna be George Washington for Halloween this year, also. So I'm like, I hope it still fits you, Zachary, because that costume fits like already perfectly. But that's Zach, and he's so cute. Is he? Hold on. I have, like, another photo with, um... Eliza's class also came at the same time. And... I don't have any good photos with... Z oh, I don't... Wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. All of our photos that we took are a hot mess. But here's Eliza, I guess. Zach was so cute. He was, like, so proud of Zach because he did such a good job. But there's Eliza. It was really cute. Where is Mom? Oh, this is when we took a little selfie with Zachary. And my mom's in it, too. P.S. Mom was, like, a hot tamale. Like, her dress was so cute. 
Her hair was a little frazzled because it was a little windy outside. But, um... Hold on. I, I gotta show you guys mom because she looks so good. And... Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. Here's mom. Look at her dress. It's so cute. Hi, Steffi. Oh, Steffi, I just saw your email before I started the live. Um, I will check on that because I know we did drop it off like last week. So um, I will check the tracking and then I'll email you um, the tracking after. But it should have be there already because it was like last week. So um, I will take a look. Hi, Becky. But that is, like, the update with Zachary Banks and this morning's festivities. This is... Oh, these are the aphids. They are literally all over the plants. It's so crazy. And I already, like, washed them. Like, I, I ho tried to hose them down yesterday. And then, like, I knew they were going to come back. And then today, uh, our... I ordered, like, a spray thing, and then neem oil, and then I mixed neem oil, water, and dish detergent together, and then I sprayed it down. But these are the bugs. Look at them. If anyone has, like, a good way to remove them, let me know. Hopefully the neem oil works with, like, the soap and water. Um, that's what we did before, and it worked pretty well. But this year is like next level with the amount of aphids. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Hi, Norma. Oh, also, uh, if you guys can help me think of a giveaway question, today's giveaway is... Okay, so I have another Vera Bradley wallet. But this one is a Mickey Mouse one. And it's so cute. And it's pink. There's a clear ID slot right there. And it is, like, literally brand new still. So it's just a little wallet, uh, Vera Bradley Mickey Mouse wallet in pink. So you guys can help me think of a giveaway question. <gasps> also, I have an unboxing that I want to do with you guys really quick before we start the live also. So, um, yes. Let me know, though. Like, let me, let, give me a question for today's giveaway. Again, I apologize for my allergies today. They are nuts. I just, like, got out of the shower, too, and they are still really, really bad. So I'm just getting my notes in order before we start. But did everyone have a good day today? Oh, also, if you guys are watching this video after the live is already over, check down below in the description box. Items availability and their pricing will be down there. Uh, if you are new to the live sales, welcome. We're so happy to have you here. The rules and stuff are all right here for the sale. They're also down below in the description box. Easier for you guys to read. Um, hi, Deborah. <gasps> Ooh, yes, Purse Creator. I like that. I love ice cream. Okay, what is your favorite ice cream treat or like maybe flavor in the summertime? My favorite is coffee. I love coffee ice cream so much. Ever since I was young, addicted. Sandra, I like that question. We will use that tomorrow. I'm going to save that. I need to know what everyone's favorite Starbucks drink is. My current favorite is, uh, what is it called? The Nitro Cold Brew. So good. I'm like addicted. I've already had like 30 in the past month. It's so bad. But leave your answer to today's question in the comments of this morning's video. I just linked that right there in the live chat. And you'll be entered to win this super cute Vera Badly Mickey Mouse wallet. It's like a little wristlet, actually. There's a little wristlet action right there. Uh, also, if you guys want to see, this is the air fryer that 
we got, this is when I was like still setting it up. I was going to put oil in it. But it's really cool because it drains out the oil and then it cleans it so you can reuse the oil. So that way you're not always using like a ton of oil every time and then like your oil is not all gross just sitting there. So it's pretty cool. I'll let you guys know how it is. This is our first time using it and mom's going to be the first one to use it. But this is it. That's the air fryer. I think it's a cuisine art. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We were actually going to buy some ladybugs. We did that last time, too. But I feel like the ladybugs just, like, disappeared last time we did it. I was like, where did all the ladybugs go? They just went away. So, um, I might go tomorrow to buy some ladybugs at, like, Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, ooh, Tara, you have to try my pink drink. I make a pink drink, and I use, like, all of the sugar-free stuff to make it, and it's so, so good. You might like it. It's my favorite. It's also low-carb, too, so if anyone's, like, low-carb right now, too. Low-carb, like, no sugar. It's really, really good. Um, vanilla bean on a waffle. Ooh, that sounds good, too. I love a waffle cone. Oh, you guys are making me hungry. My hair also looks crazy. Okay, let's do the unboxing. Okay, wait, you guys want to guess what it is? It's from Poshmark. Something else I got is supposed to come today, too, but it hasn't arrived yet. I think it's coming from, like, U... No. UPS? Actually, let me check on it right now. I'm, like, kind of, like, where is it? Yeah, it says it arrives today. Let's see if it says anything else. It just says it's out for delivery, so... I guess we're still waiting. Hopefully it comes soon. I hope it, like, doesn't, like... I feel like the mail has been so all over the place recently. So I'm just hoping that everything is okay. Yeah, Tara, um, I'll send you... Actually, let me see if I can post it right now. Can I get, like... Let me see if I can get it from my app. I'll, like, put the recipe up, and then you can screenshot it. Don't get scared, because it looks a little crazy. Like, my order like the thing. It's actually really delicious. Pink drink, pink drink, pink drink, pink drink. It has like a lot of pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup, but that's because I get it without ice, and then like the drink is like huge, and I actually like will separate it also. Um, so you order the pink drink, and then... This is what I customize it to be. Yeah, like, Tanya's is going to Canada. Oh my gosh, Tanya. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. They haven't said anything yet. Um, this is the recipe if anyone wants to screenshot it. That's for the pink drink. So you order the pink drink, and then those are the customizations that you make in the app. Um, you can, like, all, you can change up, like, how many pumps of, like, the sugar, uh, free vanilla syrup you want in it. But that's just how much I put. But, like, it's literally a, like, it's literally, like, three or four drinks in one, because I get it without ice. And when you get without ice, there's, like, so much of it. Like, when I order one drink, it's, like, enough for, like, all of the kids. So, that's the, that's the recipe right there if you guys want to try it out. It's really, really good, I promise. It doesn't even taste like the regular pink drink. It tastes like a strawberry smoothie, almost. Like, it's really yummy. Hi, Rosalinda. Nothing yet. We just started. Okay, let's get started. Let me unbox this really quick with you guys. I'm really, really excited about this. I got it from Poshmark. And it went through Poshmark authentication, which honestly took kind of forever. <laughs> I don't know. Things that have been going through Poshmark authentication have been taking a little while longer than it used to. I feel like in the past, uh, Poshmark authentica authentication has been a little bit faster in terms of how long it takes to go through. But recently, when I order anything that goes through authentication... It has been taking, like, a couple of days, and then I have to, like, wait.
Okay. Here we go. I'm so excited. Oh, happy birthday, Tara! Hi, Ate Eyes! Okay. Do you guys want to guess what it is? I'm gonna wait a second while you guys um, are like leaving your guesses. But this is the size of the box. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <gasps> I see the desk bag. Okay, are you guys ready? Wait, what happened? Oh, thank you, Auntie Eyes. I appreciate that. My allergies are a little crazy, but... Okay, it's actually not a Loewe. It's in this green dust bag. And if you guys know dust bags, green... I don't think there's a lot of brands that do green dust bags. But it is a Bottega Veneta. Oh, here's that. I opened it upside down. But here is the little authentication certificate that they come with when you order things through Poshmark Authentication. Looks like a little uh, postcard. Okay. I know. <laughs> I've been obsessed with Bottega recently, so. Okay. Are we ready? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute! I think this is like the original bag that- yeah, this is like the original bag that it comes in. Like the plastic bag. <gasps> I feel like it's not showing up. This is the black Bottega Veneta cassette belt bag. <gasps> I'm so excited! Excited! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I already have to try it on. This is so cool. It's the nylon one. Um, but I got a pretty good deal on it. How much did I get this for? Um, the resale of these is usually at around, I feel like, like mid-900s to like a thousand something. Uh, I got this for 650 so I think I got a pretty decent deal on it, but I'm so excited. I have been wanting a cassette bag in forever. Like I, I would still love to get a leather cassette, but those are always like way more. But here it is. <gasps> oh, it's, I wish I was wearing a different color. You, like, literally can't even see it. But here it is. Oh, it's so cute. It's literally the perfect size, too. It has all the cards and everything. This retails for 1450 So I got more than half off on it, right? Even with tax and everything. And it, like, fits, like, my cell phone perfectly, which is... What I wanted is like something to just like hold my phone perfectly and then I could just put a wallet in there and then even like a pair of sunglasses, like some like thin aviators, and then it just would be like that. So, so cool! <laughs> Hannah, the thing too with these cards is like over time, they, they use a sharpie to write on them. The Sharpie, like, the writing starts to, like, I don't know, disintegrate or something. Like, it starts turning yellow, and the colors start separating in the Sharpie. It's really weird. I have to find, like, an old one of these. Like, after a few years, they kind of get gross. So I'm like, I feel like they should make them a little better, but... Oh, I'm so excited! Inside it has, like, two pockets on the inside. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, uh, thank you, Don. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. 
This is very exciting. I'll put all this stuff like back inside. But yeah, so this is like the little, this is the cassette belt bag. It's literally so perfect. I'm so excited. It's so cute. It's in like brand new condition. Nylon. Super soft. Great summer bag. A great travel bag. And... One of, like, this is probably one of my first Bottega bags in my collection. So, I'm just going to put it back inside. This was very exciting. Okay. Well, that was the quick unboxing. Yay! And now, let's... Kathleen, I, you, you probably could, but I don't know if that's going to change anything with the Sharpie and how, like, it starts to kind of, like, the color starts turning weird. So I don't know if, like, lamination will do anything for it. Yeah, I agree, uh, Hana. Like, the, from eBay, you get, like, an actual card, and I think the card has, like, a chip in it, and it, like, looks, it's, like, very official, and then Vestier, it has, like, a card, too, that's, like, attached to the bag, and then I think Rebag also kind of has something, like, it's just says, like, Rebag or something on it. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other brand, like, what other things have, but... I don't know. The Poshmark, like, that little card thing, I, I, it's not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what this one says. Like, who is that? Like, well, I don't even know what that is. Is it the letter W? Is it an A-I-O-U-O-L-O-C? Hi, Cindy! Oh, thank you, Auntie Eyes. I know, now I just need to go on a vacation, which probably isn't happening, but it's okay. Surprised they didn't use a crayon. Oh, Kathleen, no, I haven't tried to laminate it, but I don't think, like, um, laminating actually does, like, will protect the thing. I don't know. I don't, maybe. Maybe. But, like, uh, the other, like, I have a bunch of those authentication cards from, like, old purchases in the past. And whenever, like, I pull them out, because I kind of keep them all together, some of them have started, like, the Sharpie has started to, like, turn yellow. And some of them, like, the writing just, like, it's all, it gets, like, really light. Like, it's really weird. Thank you, Tara. All right, well, let's get started. Um, uh, let me leave the link one more time, though, for the giveaway. So there's that right there. Okay, let's get started. Our first item for today is... <gasps> let's do this one. Okay, this is an Anthropology Corgi mug. So it's a little mug with a little Corgi on it. He's in blue. Isn't he adorable? He kind of looks like Peanut. But yeah, so Anthropology mug with a Corgi that's going to be item number one. Anthropology Corgi mug. And that's going to be $10. It's in really great shape. Number one is our Corgi mug. I'm still trying to un like to find my other mugs. I just found like a small box of mugs. That I had so the mugs from today are just like a small collection of mugs that I found. Our next item is going to be okay. This is a Zach Posen crossbody bag. This is in a like a taupey brown color with like antique brass hardware. Oh, DG House is calling it. Congratulations, DG House. That mug is going to you. It's so cute. You're going to love it. 
there. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, so back to our Zach posing. Here it is. It does have like I don't know if it like like some signs of wear right here on the hardware, but then it's supposed to be like a distressed hardware, so I feel like it still kinda fits the vibe. There's a pocket right here. Um, there is, like, an indentation right there and right there on the front. It's not, like, super obvious, but, like, depending on, like, the angle that you're looking at it, you can see it. Uh, so this opens up. The interior is a bright blue. And then there's just one interior zipper pocket, or zipper open pocket right there. And that's the inside. And then the crossbody strap is adjustable. And I think, I don't know, yeah, I know, it's not removable though. So the crossbody strap is just adjustable. And it kind of looks like a Celine trapeze. It's just missing like a top handle. And there's the bottom. Again, there's that pocket in the back. Let me see if I can fit a phone in there. I feel like without the case my phone will fit okay a mini will definitely fit i think it's gonna be the only phone size that's gonna fit inside of there but there is a back pocket i love the pop with the blue inside too hi levon whoa they wanted two hundred dollars for a coach at a garage sale that sounds like the store pricing <laughs> okay this is our zach posen Uh, taupe brown leather flap bag with blue leather interior and antique brass hardware. And this is how much we need? Okay, we're going to do this one for $40. That's going to be item number two. Our Zach pose in for $40. Okay, next up, number three. Oh, Sister of a Down called it. Congratulations, Sister of a Down. <gasps> Yarima, welcome. Everyone say hi to Yarima. Welcome. This is their first time here. Welcome to the live sales. All right, so that was item number two. Sister of a Down, again, congratulations. Zach Posen is going to you. Also, your name is really cool, Yarima. I've never seen that name before. I like it. Alright, next up we got item number three. And for number three I have... Okay, these are Manolo Blahnik sandals. And they are in this brown leather. And they have these uh, antique brass little studs on the straps around the foot. Uh, they have about a... Actually, let me measure it. I want to say it's a three and a half to four inch heel. Let's just make sure. Yeah, this is a three and a half inch heel. How the shoe looks. There's those little pieces right there. The bottoms don't have like too much wear on them. And the heels are in pretty decent condition. They do have like some light marks on them. Um, and there also are some, like, marks, like, kind of, like, scuff marks, almost, like, right here along the heel. But when you're wearing it, you're not really going to see that at all. But the interior of the shoe is also in good shape. Again, these are a size 40, okay? See, so these are our brown Manolo Blahnik. Uh, sandals with antique brass studs, size 40, and these are how much we for these? Okay, we're going to do these for $45. It's going to be item number 3 for our Manolo Blahniks, and that's a size 40. Up next, got number 4. 
Then here are our sandals. They're really cute. They're like great little summer shoes. Um, number four is gonna be... Oh, I have a... This is an Amy Kestenberg uh, phone bag. And this is in leather, but it looks like denim. It's really cool. It's like embossed and printed, and it, it feels kind of like a denim. It's like a cross between like a denim and like a corduroy suede nubuck. It's really cool, but it looks like denim. There's the back. It just has silver hardware. We have the crossbody strap, which is adjustable. There is a back pocket right there. This opens up. Um, the interior just has four built-in card slots on the inside. Hold on, let me just... Yeah, there's four built-in card slots right there. And then the interior is nice and clean. Um, got my phone. And my phone with, like, the case and everything. Pop socket that just fits in there perfectly. So, phone fits inside really nicely. And this is going to be item number four. <laughs> Anna. They're really cute shoes. Okay, so these are, uh, this is the Amy Kestenberg leather denim phone bag with silver hardware. This one's in like new condition. And it's going to be how much for this one, Peter? Okay, we're going to do this one for $45. It's going to be item number four. That's our Amy Kestenberg phone bag. Again, it does have those three built-in card slots inside, too. That's number four. It's okay, Tara. I have bad balance, too. I've never worn heels, either. But platforms. Yes. <laughs> I do love a platform sandal or shoe in general. Make you nice and tall, easier to reach stuff. All right, next up, we have item number five. And let's do... All right, this is a Black Coach uh, frame pouch bag. And it's just in this black leather. And the crossbody strap also is adjustable. And it actually has like a metal frame on the interior of the bag. So that's what opens and closes it. And there's just one interior pocket. And then the interior of the bag is actually just, it's unlined. So it's just suede inside of there. And this particular guy is made in the United States. So this is a vintage black uh, coach frame pouch bag. You forgot how it was, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait a minute. How are you? Did you buy the that teeth, the Japanese teeth bag from Anne? Okay, this is our black uh, vintage coach frame pouch crossbody bag with antique brass hardware made in USA. Okay, and this one's going to be how much we be Adrian for this guy. Okay, we're going to do this one for just $55, okay? $55, that's going to be item number five. $55 for a vintage coach made in USA. My mom is making fried chicken for dinner, and I'm, like, literally so excited. She's making, like, the little chicken wings. Oh, it's going to be so good. I cannot wait. Next week is the neighbor that I usually find out. Okay, up next, we got number six. And this is an anthropology glass cup. This is the letter C. 
Uh, apparently, this is 24 karat gold decorations, hand wash recommended, made in Slovakia. So, glass, cup, letter C, in 24 karat gold. And this is uh, Anthropology. So it has like the Anthropology sticker and stuff on the bottom. The cup is in really great shape. Oh, that's so cool, Hana. Oh my gosh. You guys need to come over. We're going to have a chicken wing party. So this is our uh, anthropology glass letter C mug in 24 karat. And then this is also just going to be $10. It's going to be item number six for our anthropology mug letter C. really cute. I wish it was letter H. <sighs> Sad. All the gold is in really good shape too. Like all the gold on it is looking really nice. So much for that. You need to bring all of your fun bags so they can all travel with you. My gosh, I haven't traveled in so long. I wouldn't even know what to do. Like I don't even, I wouldn't even know what to bring with me if I was going anywhere. <gasps> Chicken and waffles sounds so good. Have you guys ever been to... Is it Roscoe's that has chicken and waffles made in? Roscoe's? Oh my gosh, Roscoe's is so good. I haven't been in literally years. Years and years. Our next item, this is a Hobo International uh, clutch bag. And it is in this like olive green leather... It's scrumptious. The leather is so nice. It's in this beautiful, like, antique brass hardware. This opens up like so. And it's huge inside. There's a zipper pocket. There's another pocket. Another pocket in front of it. This also has, like, a metal, metal frame inside. And then you have uh, six card slots. Another bill pocket right there. And then another one down there. And it's in, like, new condition. This guy is in really, really great shape. Just a beautiful clutch. Stunning. Oh, you're driving! You can bring all the bags then! Weight's not an issue with all the stuff that you with all the stuff you can bring. You can carry them all with you. I know when um but like in the past when we've traveled or like my last trip that I went to, I went to the Philippines, and that was, like, in 2019. And I I always bring my bags usually with me. I don't put them in, like, the, what's it called, in my luggage. I'll just bring them with me in my bag. So I'll bring, like, the biggest bag and then put my other bags inside and do, like, a turducket and try to put them all inside of each other so that way they're not taking up too much space and just don't have like a gazillion bags floating around. But yeah. Okay, so this is our Hobo International Olive Green Clutch with Antique Brass Hardware. And this is gonna be $25. It's gonna be item number seven. $25 for our, anthropo our anthropology, for our Hobo International clutch. It's really, really nice. And you can just use this as like a daily clutch too. I know some people just like to carry like a just like a clutch with them when they go out. And this has space for everything. It'll fit your cell phone for sure and like even like my giant glue stick chapstick will fit in there and closes up really nicely. Whiskey hazelnut ice cream. No way, Hypatia, but that does sound pretty enticing. Though I would probably have some sort of allergic reaction. Silver blue. Ooh, is it metallic, Levon, or is it just like a grayish blue color? Just like a regular black color. 
I've been obsessed with Metallics recently. All right, next up, we have item number eight. And for number eight, I have... Um, this is a mark by Mark Jacobs. This is the, the Natasha crossbody bag. This is in black leather. This is the updated style, too. It has the thicker strap, which is an inch wide. It has uh, gold hardware. Here's the back. The exterior is in really great shape. The hardware looks really good, too. I know sometimes this hardware is prone to uh, marks and stuff. Um, magnetic snap. Interior has a zipper and then two open pockets inside there. Um, it's in pretty good shape. Nice and clean. Just needs a little bit of a dusting. but And then there's a zipper compartment right here. And that's in the top flap. Yeah, this is item number eight. This is our black Mark by Mark Jacobs uh, Natasha with gold hardware. My Fendi Monster has that. <laughs> Wait, do you have to show us how that looks? Did you post the photo in Discord? Ooh, let me leave the link for the Discord in case anyone wants to join. Wait, what did you say, Adrian? Okay, this one's going to be 60, 60. Let's just do $60. This one's $60 for our Mark Jacobs Natasha. This is the collection of bags that Mark Jacobs actually re-released. Because he actually discontinued them, and he recently brought them back because of their popularity. And I think the retail for this bag is close to $400, I think. But that was item number eight for $60, our Mark by Mark Jacobs bag. Next up, we got number nine. Whoops. So I don't know why I put ten. Um, there she is. Okay, next up, I have, I don't know if anyone's into sunglasses. I still do have um, some of the sunglasses from before. So let me know if anyone wants to see sunglasses that I haven't seen them last time. Um, oh, let me just show this. This is a gold Starbucks mug. And this is the one with like the fish scales. And then it has kind of like these vertical stripes going down and then it's black on the inside and it just says Starbucks in the right right there. It's really cute. Oh Yvette's call it number eight. Congratulations Yvette. You are getting the mark by mark. Congratulations. Alrighty. Set that one over here. And then our Gold Starbucks mug is number nine. Bless you, baby. Uh, this is just going to be $10 as well, and that's going to be item number nine. Our gold Starbucks mug. And then number 10. Hi, oh, Pollyanna, how are you? Did you find anything good? Tiffany. Oh, hi, Tiffany. How are you? Welcome. Oh, Don's calling number nine. Congrats, Don. Yay. Don, I'm still looking for the letter K. I know I have some somewhere. The other, my other mugs are not turning up. I don't know what, Yasmin. I, I blame Yasmin and John. <laughs> They're hiding them from me. I don't know what it is. They're hoarding the mugs. Okay, next up is number 10. The only one that I can find is the letter K, um... Bistro collection mug that I have, but I can't sell that one because I actually collect those mugs, and Kid really likes it, so that's the one I can't let go of. Next up is going to be oh, this is a beautiful rag and bone perforated leather backpack. So the front is in this black perforated leather. And then there's a zipper pocket here on the side. This is its own independent pocket, so it doesn't go into the main 
uh, compartment of the bag. So you can put your, let me see if the cell phone fits in here. Cell phone, cell phone does not fit. I think if you had like a smaller iPhone, it would fit inside of there. But yeah, even if I try to angle it, it doesn't fit inside. So unfortunately, iPhone doesn't fit inside that pocket. What are you doing? Oh yeah, Don, for sure. So Vedra said they're just going to put it in the invoice and then, yeah, it'll be credited. Like, well, yeah, we'll just deduct it from your credits on there. Um, this opens up. We've got a drawstring right here. This is a magnetic top flap as well. Underside is... Huh? Uh, yeah. Did I say it like 8 million times? No. <laughs> um, the inside looks like this. It just has one zipper pocket in there. Ah. And then the inside is unlined. So with the exception of like where the pocket is, the pocket is fabric, everything else is unlined. So behind the perforation, it's just leather. And then it's the top is lined in just leather as well. So just the back panel where the pocket is, is fabric. And then uh, the back straps are fully leather and they are fully adjustable as well but it's a cute little backpack i would say it's a medium size it's not like super small so you can fit like a water bottle snacks or whatever this is a great park bag um <gasps> you know what though maybe <laughs> <laughs> like, um, back when I used to work in the handbag department at a department store, we can, like, tell the people that, like, buy certain bags. Like, we can kind of tell, like, their personalities and stuff. Like, you can, you see, like, a certain type of person gravitating towards um, certain bag brands and styles. So it's kind of funny when you, like, sell enough bags to enough people, like, in person. This is our black uh, rag and bone perforated backpack. Oh, it has um, it has silver hardware. <gasps> you can put pins in it. Yeah, it was Pollyanna. You can put pins in this. Hold on, I have my pins right here. Let me try one of my pins. This is going to be so cute. Oh no, this is so stinking. Look how cute! You can put your pins on it. That's Snorlax. It doesn't come with a pin, but you can definitely put pins in here because of the perforations. So that would be perfect for that. Um, with silver hardware. How much is this, Vitrine? Oh my gosh, I cannot type. Oh! <gasps> And stop. Okay, how much did we, what did you say, Vedran? Okay, this one's going to be $85. That's going to be item number 10. And that's $85. Oh, Hipatia's calling it. Congratulations, Hipatia. 85 is going to you. Adrian's babysitting right now. A cute little baby's over there. Okay, let me take my pin out before I forget that it's there. How much was how much was the pro ones of Adrian? I forgot how much they had in it.
should just let it go. I can just get another perforated bag. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to do it. This is our this is our next item. It doesn't come with the pins, though, but this is a Perenza Schooler perforated bucket bag. It's a full set. It comes with a dust bag. It has, the, it has a removable pouch inside. Right inside of here. And it comes with the little booklet and everything inside. And this is in like new condition. This is made in Italy. Perforated, Proenza Schooler. It has little feet. It doesn't come with the pins, though. I can't. Yeah, no pins. Just by itself. You can put your own pins on here. And again, it will come with a dust bag as well. The crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. Uh, and <laughs> no, you convinced me. Okay, so this is our black Proenza schooler perforated bucket bag with silver hardware. Uh, new with tags and dust bag. And this one was $250, okay? That's number 11. Before I change my mind, I have to be good because I just bought stuff. Okay, that's number 11. Next up is number 12. But here it is again. Again, does not come with the pins, okay? Oh my god, literally everyone wanted it. You guys are crazy. Who called it first? Oh my god, Shepatia actually called that one first. Oh, I'm sorry, Anne. I thought you did it. This is stressful. <laughs> ah! I'm not ready for this. Okay, next up is number 12. And for number 12, I have this Balenciaga. This is uh, the Balenciaga Bazaar, I think is the name of it. And it's in black and white and blue stripes. It has contrasting white stitching. And it has a crossbody strap right here. Top handle. It zips across the top. The inside is in good shape. It has just one interior zipper pocket right there. And then an open pocket right here and yeah here's a little tag right there a little serial number is underneath it's super cute this is our next item S number 12 and this is our black white and blue striped uh, Balenciaga Bazaar satchel with silver hardware and this one's how much, Adrian? Okay, I'm going to keep this one as cheap as I can. Um, this one's going to be $275. So we're going to keep it under $300. That's going to be item number 12 for $275 for our Proenza. Our Proenza. It's for our Balenciaga. And it's in really good shape. Number 12. Just a little squished. But really, really cute. It doesn't have any feet or anything. That's what the bottom looks like. I've been secretly wanting this. Okay. Next up, I have... Alright, Anne, are you ready for this one? This isn't coming with a strap, though. But, we're ha I'm doing the large Balenciaga 
as well. This is the large Balenciaga um, Bazaar tote. This is in that cool see-through mesh right there. So I have all this stuff inside. Um, it's not going to come with the charms or anything. It's just by itself. But it, this one's in like new condition. I already attached the little hardware pieces right here. So you can attach your own crossbody strap to it. It's just not going to come with this particular strap. So, yeah. But it's really cool. It's mesh. And it has a zipper across the top. There's an open pocket on one side, and then a zipper pocket on the other side. There you go. Okay, so this is our item for number 13. This is our blue Balenciaga uh, large bazaar tote with silver hardware, new with tags, the yeah, was. Hi, Melissa. Okay, this one um, is going to be 525. So 525, that's number 13. 525, and this one is in light new condition. It's super clean inside and out. Doesn't have any marks or anything on it. And I, I already, uh, it's going to include the hardware, just not the charms or the crossbody strap. You can attach one onto it. This bag also doesn't come with an actual crossbody strap or anything. I This is separate, like, that I attached to the little area on the sides. So you can attach a crossbody strap to it. Ah. Uh. I love the charm, so cute. You can get this guy from Nord's, not Nordstrom, from Barnes and Noble. This is Heen from uh, Spirit, from Howl's Moving Castle. And then I think I got these charms a while ago from like, I want to say it was from Hot Topic. But I don't think, I don't know if they sell them anymore because that was a really long time ago. Okay. So that's number 13. Next up is number 14. And let's do... Oh, if, uh, if any of you guys are a Cancer, I have this Anthropology Cancer Constellation... Zodiac mug. Sorry, like the lighting is totally blowing it out. It's super cute. It's blue on the inside, and then it says Cancer right there in silver, or no, in gold. And then it has like the gold constellation stars all over the cup as well. This is our Anthropology... Cancer mug with gold stars and blue interior. And this one's also just going to be $10. Need to check my logo. Oh, Melissa, you can order them online. Pollyanna. Okay, so that's uh, number 14. That's $10. Next up is number 15. Okay, next. Okay, let's do... Oh my gosh, my allergies. I'm so sorry, you guys are like killing me. Oh, but let me leave the link again for the giveaway. Uh, for anyone that hasn't had a chance to enter yet. There is the link right there. Leave your answer to today's question. We're giving away this VR Bradley Mickey Mouse wristlet wallet. And that's uh, the giveaway and the link. 
So leave your answer in the comments of the video that I just left in the chat right there. And then let's go on to our next item, which is number 15. Okay, let's do... Oh, I still have this guy right here. This is a Jimmy Choo, like, makeup pouch clutch bag. And it's in this laser cut leather. It's perforated, but it has fabric lining. So you can't actually put pins in this one. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted, but... Or you can put, like, the pins that have... Um, if they're, like, the pointy back ones that go through, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's in this green color. Interior is in this blue fabric, and then it just says Jimmy Choo, made in Italy, right there. And this is number 16. Our green Jimmy Choo makeup pouch clutch in gold or with gold hardware and this is how much it is okay this one's 150 actually let's just do 125 we'll bring it down that one's 125 it's in really great shape it just has light marks on the hardware other than that though it's wonderful so that's 125 for number 15 <laughs> Um, Hepatia, I don't know, do you, mm, I'm not, I don't think so. I don't think we really have anything else new, new. Um, I do have these Balenciaga shoes, they're a size 36. Uh, where's the other shoe? The other shoe is missing. Oh, here it is. Um, I have these Balenciaga ballet flats, and they have the edge hardware, so it's metal, and then inlay is in uh, leather. And they're in silver. They're in really good shape. They don't have too much wear on them. They're a size 36. So these are black Balenciaga flats. And this is 16. Oh, let me, I'll get you the measurements right now. Uh, this is the black Balenciaga uh, flats, size 36. And these are how much we doing? Okay, we're just going to do these for um, $65. That's going to be item number 16. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, like, every five seconds, <laughs> and then it's like my eyes just start watering up. Um, Tanya, nothing, no, I don't have any other, like, vintage coach or anything. Profile me, my <laughs> Hipatia. Oh, uh, let me get the measurements for the Balenciaga bag. It's, um, 11 by 6 by 10. So for the smaller one, it's 11. So that's, the, um, those are the measurements for this guy. And then the measurements for the larger one, if anyone's interested. 15, 7, 15. Okay. And those are the measurements for the larger uh, Balenciaga. So cute. I love this bag. I feel like it's so cute with like when it has too much stuff on it, it makes it look even cuter, I feel like. I don't know. It's like a weird thing. 
Okay, uh, 17, I have... Oh, I, I also have this Balenciaga still. This is the Mini Ledix. And this is in navy blue with bl silver and gold hardware. I'll just put this. I have a lot of Balenciaga for some reason. Uh, Mini Ledix. Crossbody bag with silver and gold hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, this one's 600. See how good both of brand new with tags. Ooh, I love Crocs. Were they the platform ones? Platform ones are the most comfortable. Okay, and then 18. I have, this is a Alexander McQueen, um, large, like, handbag, shoulder bag, tote, and navy blue pebbled leather, silver hardware, we have the key in the pochette right here, and then we have the skull, uh, lock right here, um, silver hardware, It's in really, really great condition. Nice shoulder straps. It's really nice on your shoulder. This extends really nicely, too. So you can use this as an overnight bag or even a weekend bag because it's pretty large. Interior just has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. And sorry, just linty. You see the vacuum inside of there. But other than that, bag is in wonderful condition. You can also actually use the lock to lock up the bag also. So actually it would be a really good travel bag. No way! Are you serious, Tara? I feel like people can't do that anymore because Crocs are actually so, so good. But yeah, so that's um, our number 18, Alexander McQueen Large blue leather um, tote bag with silver hardware. How much is this one? Okay, this one is $625 for Alexander McQueen. That's number 18. Okay, I'm going to show this one too. I'm going to show like all the expensive stuff. But, um, I remember Steffi emailed me earlier, and she sent me a link to this same exact bag on First Dibs. And I think it was like 4000 over $4,000 on First Dibs. So, this is like half the price here. And this is the Chanel, um, clear backpack has the clear up top. It's in yellow glazed leather, silver hardware. Hi, Deborah. Oh, Tara, I love Crocs. Oh, you can pop, you can pick it, Kathleen. It's not like um, the lock. It's not the key that is that has like the special teeth in it. It's just like a thing that you push inside and turn, and then it releases a latch. So it's not anything like that that has like a specific. It's not like a house key. Uh, so this is our yellow Chanel backpack. Clear silver. And this is how much, Peter? <clears throat> okay, this one is two thousand one hundred and fifty dollars, and that's item number nineteen. I want to show you guys that link that, um, where is it? Uh, stuff you said. Oh, here it is. Yes, yeah, four thousand 
four hundred dollars, and it's oh, it's on Sotheby's. Not um, it wasn't first dibs; it was Sotheby's. Isn't that crazy? Four thousand four hundred. Um, oh, number twelve. Which one was that, Adrian? The little one. Here she is. It's black, blue, and a white stripe. It's the bizarre um, crossbody bag. Uh, Balenciaga. It's right there on the front. Here's the bottom. All the corners are in good shape. And the top's looking good. Interior. Has, uh, there's a zipper pocket in there and then two open pockets underneath. Hi, Linda. Oh, no, Steffi, it's okay. But yeah, this is item number 12, our Balenciaga. I know the corners kind of look a little crazy, but I feel like that's how they always end up looking, the style. But then when you look here, it cross body, it lifts it off, back up. And that's that. <clears throat> that's crazy, Steffi. I feel like my backpack is like probably all, maybe even the same condition or could be better. Oh, hold on. I think my other package came. Hold on one second. Ah, let me see if it's here. You guys, it's here. I'll be doing a second unboxing. It came in a shoe box. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I'm really excited. You're welcome, Melissa. Okay, what do you guys think this one is? Oh, wait, there's more tape. There we go. All right. I know another unboxing. I'm so excited. Okay, are you guys ready to see what it is? It's not a pair of shoes, though it did come in this shoe box. Okay, I want you guys to, um, to guess to see what it is. Tanya says Chanel. Let me know what you guys think. I'm peeking. <laughs> Walk, don't run. I love that it says that inside. Marjorie, yellow long jump. Oh my gosh, the baby. Is the baby playing with the cars, Vader? He loves them. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what it is. This isn't what it is. This is just a dust bag that I came in. Bottega wallet. Something animal related. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so good. Stop. It is so cute. The color is even better in person. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I wish it was LED, Hana. Don't get me started on that bag. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> The crossbody strap is right inside. So this is the size 
this is a size small puzzle, which I think is probably like one of my favorite sizes. I love this. I say that about like literally everything, but. Ooh, I got a bunch of reusable bags inside of here. That's perfect. Um, here's the inside. Looking good. There's that pocket just right there. And then another pocket on the other side. Oh, there it is. Serial number right there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I'm so excited! <laughs> I know! This green is one of my... I really wanted something like a green bag. Like, I know it's not fully green, but it is so good. Here's a crossbody strap. Oh, it's so cute! I'm crying. I'm just like looking at everything. It looks so cute, you guys. Super cute. Yeah, I like the smalls because they actually fit a ton. But this is the newest addition to the family. Loewe Puzzle Small and I can't tell if this is, I think this is black. No, it's navy. So it's navy, green, and then like a, like a khaki tan color are the colors. It's literally so stinking cute. I'm like so obsessed. I love the multicolors, so I don't have very many of them, so. As I look around to see how many multicolored puzzles I have, I think this is the only other... Wait, no, I have that one. I feel like almost all my puzzles are just, like, one color. So, but yeah, this is it. So, so cute. I'm so excited. Mmm. Um, Kathleen, we can't count those. We just, we're just not going to think about that. Okay, uh, next up is going to be item number 20. And we have, this is a little coach, crossbody bag, black pebbled leather. It also does have um, these little studs. The studs are, uh, they're like a glittery, like a shimmery black. And then the hardware is a gunmetal color. And this has a crossbody strap inside it's also adjustable um double zip across the top it has a little hang tag right here there's just one pocket in the front and then in the back it has two built-in card slots and this bag is in like new condition it's really cute and it will fit your cell phone inside beautifully This is unhinged. I can't believe I just had two unboxings right now. This is our black pebbled leather um, coach studded double zip crossbody bag with gunmetal hardware. And this is going to be... Vedrin? No, this is the one without the floral. Okay, we're going to do this one for $65. That's going to be item number 20 for 65 And this one's in like new condition. It's a great little crossbody. I, I think I said it still has the hang tag as well. So, hang tag is right there. Hi, Tofo. Welcome. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. Okay, 21, 
is up next. What time is it? <gasps> There's only 20 minutes to 7. Okay. I can literally smell the fried chicken, and I can barely smell anything because my allergies are so bad. But I can smell the chicken. Okay. I have um, another one of these Kelly-style bags. This is a bigger version than the one that I had. But um, this one is by Via Borgo Spesso is the brand. And it's also lined in leather as well. There's a, there's a zipper pocket in the middle, a zipper pocket in the back. And it has a little clochette. Um, the thing with this bag, though, is that it's missing the screw that is right here. And when I bought it, I didn't even notice that I was missing the screw. Someone put, like, um, I, I honestly think it's a paper clip through here. Uh, you could probably find a screw somewhere to replace this one. But I I don't have one. So we're selling this one as is. It does have some rubbing on the corners. It has feet. I feel like if you could get this replaced, it'd be fantastic. Um, but yeah, just it's miss missing that. So this is $21. Um, I'm going to sell this for the price that I bought it for, which is like $35. This is our Kelly style brown leather bag. And this is as is. And this is going to be just $35. That's going to be item number 21. I'm just selling it as is. I didn't notice that it was, that the hardware was um, missing the piece. So that's 21. 22 is up next. Here's another look. This is a good size though really cute. <clears throat> Here's the back. Alright, 22. This is a black coach shoulder bag. And it's just in black pebbled leather says coach right there it has two hang tags one is a metal one and then one is a leather one and it has like these cool like hardware pieces on the ends of the shoulder straps that connect this sits really nicely on your shoulder it has the magnetic snap up at the top when you open it up it has three main compartments um the back one has a zipper pocket right there and it's lined in blue and then in the middle there's a zipper compartment right there and then on the other side it just has two built-in pockets so it's like hard to show you guys the inside but um, I think all the interiors are in pretty good shape no, like, major discoloration or anything. Maybe some slight darkening at the very bottom. I'm sorry, Kathleen. This guy does not have a crossbody strap. But they do have, like, the D-rings right here that connect the straps. So if you wanted, you could attach a crossbody strap um, to this bag. But it might be... Yeah. It would just be connected onto these. It might be slightly awkward, too, to wear it. Um, this style is pretty much primarily just a shoulder, handbag, crook over your elbow style um, bag. But this is number 22. There she is again. <clears throat> it's our black coat shoulder bag in pebbled leather with light gold hardware. Um, also, the hardware does have... Um, signs of wear. There's like some discoloration to the metal. It's turning silver and it does have like some marks on it. So this one, let's do it for 
We're just gonna do this one for forty dollars, you guys. Forty dollars. And that's number twenty-two. And then next up I have um this is a um a red Kuyana makeup bag. And this is in a red pebbled leather. And the inside just has one interior pocket. And then it just says Kuyana made in Argentina right there. And it is in really, really great shape inside and out. And this just zips all around like that. Nice large makeup bag from Kuyana. And this is going to be how much, Peter? With gold hardware. Okay, this one we're gonna do for fifty dollars. That's gonna be number twenty-three. Oh, DG House is calling it. Congrats, DG House. Kuyana's going to you. Yay! This is a great makeup bag. Congratulations. Okay, then 24 is up next. I have, uh, this is a, a vintage Brahmin crossbody shoulder bag. Right now it's extended. And then you can wear it as a crossbody. It sits a little bit higher up, but you can definitely still crossbody. It just sits higher on the hip. And then you can adjust these straps to make this into a shoulder bag as well. We have the little brass hang tag from Brahmin right here. And this is in a, um, a yellow and pink croc and lizard embossed leather. It's really pretty. The bottom is in the lizard in pink with the brass feet. Um, there is a little mark right, I think this might come out actually. There's the mark right there. And there's like a little mark right there and right there as well. This is a magnetic snap. It kind of reminds me of the Hermes Evelyn, kind of, in the styling of it. And then in the middle is a zipper pocket. And there's a zipper, two pen slots, a key fob, and then this, that's like a vintage phone pocket at the very side right there. And then here's the other side, it's just open. And it's lined in a microfiber. But here she is. This is number 24. Our yellow and pink croc and lizard embossed leather vintage Brahmin bag with brass hardware. And this one's gonna be... Okay, we're just gonna do this one for $40 as well. That's gonna be number 24. So cute. I love the colorway. It's like sherbet. And then 25 is gonna be, I think we might actually end at 25 because that chicken is calling my name and my allergies are going crazy. I really wanna like <laughs> blow my nose. <laughs> it sounds so gross. But my allergies are just like killing me right now. Okay, let's do... Oh, okay, this is like super random, but this is a... Um, a zebra hide that I got from the thrift. It's actual like leather and stuff. 
Um, his little hair is right. It's like crazy. This is nuts, right? Um, I'm pretty sure it's a real zebra. And this is, and it's like a small like carpet. It's not like the full thing. It's probably about like four, four, four and a half feet like lengthwise. But yeah, it's like super random. This is its face right there, the nostrils. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, like, where it's from, vintage, but it is real, like, leather, and I think it might actually be an actual zebra. Uh, this is 25, so this is our zebra leather rug, and this one, like, a big one, or, like, a little one? I don't know. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Same. Um, okay, we're going to do this one for 175 And that's our last item for the day. Our zebra carpet thing for 175 And that's 25 uh, but let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway. There's the link. Yeah, it's like really random. I bought it a while ago. <laughs> and I wasn't sure if it was real or not. But I, I just know that it's actually leather. That's the only thing that I know for sure. It doesn't have any other, like, markings on it. Yeah, I don't know. It has the letter A, and then this is all just, like, jumbled. Whatever that is. Okay. Um... Let's pick our giveaway winner, though. And that's for our Mickey Mouse little Vera Bradley wristlet pouch. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't breathe. Bless you, Adrian. All right, we're gonna pick our winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Our winner is DG House. Favorite ice cream treat is vanilla bean with bananas and chocolate sauce. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Have you guys ever had banana foster? It's like, um, caramelized banana with like a caramel sauce. And you put that over like some vanilla ice cream. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You can get it with like rub and stuff and then you like have the whole thing catch on fire. It's crazy. My mom used to make it all the time. But, yeah, congratulations, DG House, though. You are the winner today for our giveaway. Again, I'm so sorry. My allergies are driving me away. Uh, I'm going to go take an allergy medicine <laughs> and eat. Uh, but if anyone has any questions about anything, let me know. You know, I do need some Mucinex, for sure. Alright, you guys. Thank you guys again so much. Invoices will be sent out within the next 15 minutes. I love you all immensely. Uh, next live sale is tomorrow, Friday. We're going to have a late night live sale. I missed them, so I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9. Alright, adios. Bye. Good night.